Well, then, my name is uh, Peter O'Brien, and uh, I came down here today because I, I felt that um, it is something that everybody should be involved in. This is something which uh, sometimes, look, you know, sometimes in Australia, um, people think that what doesn't affect them is something that they should be ignorant about. And uh, you know, I'm not saying that, yeah, it's, it's, it is some sort of an apathy. But, and I, you know, I, I think that uh, and that ignorance is laid upon by people in power and uh, and used, exploited to their advantage. And uh, and this is, you know, this is something that, that affects absolutely everyone in Australia. This is not a country, city, you know, this is this is a united you know, you know, it doesn't matter where this happens it's going to affect everyone something that i oppose quite strongly i don't think it should happen i mean you know i don't oppose progress but i oppose you know because we can't stop it that's the reason why but this is something that you know that is being pushed through for the gain of a very small amount of people that is going to impact on a large group and its legacy is going to have ramifications for generations to generations and I think that we are not being fed all the correct information. And, uh, and I think it's, it's, a, it's a failing in the, in the duty of the people to do this. And, I, and that's why, you know, it's, I, and it's our right. We should be out there protesting against it. We live in a democracy and it's, you know, and if it's, and it's not, you know, I, I it, it's funny. I always find it funny when I, when I look at these things and I look at the amount of, um, should I say, you know, like, Police presences and that around. Like I, 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 people get passionate about it, but I, I'd be really surprised if you'd see something bad happening at these things. Because you know everyone wants to stop it. Yeah. You know they they get passionate, but they want this. You know I don't. You know so I, I, I find it. I don't find them them threatening. You know I think rallies are a really good thing. You know I, I wish everybody in Australia came out. You know and I wish that they, because that you know, it is probably the only. You know, the only way protesting like this, I mean, you know, civil movements like this are the only way that we can raise the awareness that of of the unhappiness and I suppose of, of people that, that we are being taken for granted. Yeah. What are your thoughts on the diversity of the people that are here today? I mean, you've got you know very seasoned activists, eighty-year-old farmers. What, what are your thoughts on that? I I, I think it just you know purely just shows the fact that you know this is not just about a small group of people going you know like oh we don't you know being perceived as being radicals or greenies or anything like that you know this affects everybody and I think that's what people have got to look at you know it's not everybody can get here to, to voice their opinion but if you look at the at the the demographic of people here it shows that this is you know people across a broad demographic are thinking about this and not happy with it and you know I think it's something that that, that really you know with there should be far more debate on this sort of thing and if to be before any any action sorry before anything is approved you know I mean it's it's kind of, it, it is it is almost unbelievable when you when you hear some of the things that are happening you know sometimes I think I'm I'm reading stuff from you know something that Aldous Huxley wrote years ago <laughs> or something We've like that. We've been saying that for such a yeah, long time that 1984 yeah. wasn't meant to be an instruction manual. No no exactly <laughs> and, and then you, you go you know you go through it and you start to think wow you know like do these people have incredible foresight? Were they geniuses? Yeah. Or has somebody read that book recently and gone, oh, we can do that now? <laughs> George Orwell and all this stuff. Literally, yeah, yeah, they could exactly. have got together and written yeah. what, you know, what was happening in 2012. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. And, and, it's, and, you know, sometimes it makes... <laughs> anybody who is prophetic in their writing is like, I'm scared to read it now. <laughs> what's going to be happening. Yeah. Like the Mayans almost. Like, yeah, oh, what's yeah, happening yeah. next? Well, it's Peter, uh, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate you speaking to us. And um, no. yeah, I really appreciate you um, coming down and supporting. No, I don't, look, it's... <laughs> I mean, I think everybody should yeah. be down here. You know, that's that's my feeling about awesome. it. You know, I think it's it's for the betterment of, of, of mankind. That everyone should be here, awesome. not just not just the individual. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Thank you.